OK, let's take a look at the options you get in the Event Operations Quantize dialog. So we're going to look in this video at the What to Quantize options. So the defaults are Note On and Preserve Note Duration. Um, so that makes sense because normally what you want to do is affect the timing of the notes and the Note On is where each note starts. So that's uh, what will happen there if you quantize Note Ons. Um, preserving Note Duration will keep the notes the same length as when you played them in. Now if you tick Note Off as well as Note On, um, you no longer have the option to preserve the note duration, of course, because you're quantizing the length of the note. All right, let's try these out. Uh, we'll quantize or try to quantize both the note on and the note off of these notes, these keyboard notes. Let's hear them before they're quantized. Yep, so slightly messy and in need of quantization. And we'll quantize the note on and note off to the 16th grid. So let's click Apply. Now what's happened there is the note on has gone to the 16th grid, but the note off has also uh, gone to the nearest 16th grid line. And in some cases that means the notes have ended up a different length to other notes um, in their chord. So it sounds slightly... Yeah, so the note lengths are slightly messed up there. So let's undo a little bit, and we'll do that a different way. So we'll quantize the note on and preserve the note duration to start with, and we'll do that to the 16th grid. Click Apply. And then we'll quantize the note off and not the note on, and we'll not preserve the note duration. And we'll do that this time to the 8th note grid. Click Apply. And that forces all the note lengths to be the same. Let's have a listen to what we've achieved. Yeah, an ultra-tidy uh, quantized keyboard part.